Since President Museveni took over power in 1986 after a five-year guerrilla war, peace and security for the person and property has been a key priority of his government. The army has defeated such rebel forces as the Allied Democratic Front in western Uganda, the Lord's Resistance Army in the north, Karamajong wrestlers and urban terror groups. Due to this peace and stability, internally displaced people previously in camps in the north and east have returned home to participate in national development instead of relying on handouts. This peace has been possible through government's program of professionalizing the army, the police and other civil institutions. In the road sector, from 1,200 kilometers of tarmac roads 25 years ago, the country now boasts of over 4,500 kilometers of tarmac and about 55,000 kilometers of upgraded maram. This has facilitated the free movement of goods and services. In the next five years, President Museveni plans to rehabilitate and expand the derelict and dying railway network. This is expected to create bulk and cheap transport for goods and services in the East African region and also open up new markets for Ugandans. Agriculture is the most important sector of the economy, employing over 80% of the workforce. Over the years, government support to smallholder farmers through the NADS program and plan for modernization of agriculture has accelerated production and food sufficiency. As a result, there has been a steady increase in agricultural export earnings to over 1.6 billion shillings in 2010. The government hopes to open up a farmer's bank that will not only provide soft loans for farm implements, fertilizers and animal drugs, but also help improve irrigation from 14,000 hectares of land to over 100,000 in dry and semi-arid areas. The NRM government is also credited with significantly advancing education through the free universal primary and secondary education programs. These schemes have had a positive impact on access to education countrywide, especially in the poor rural areas. Since the introduction of UPE in 1997 and USE in 2007, the number of school-going age children enrolling is rapidly increasing every year with about 70% literacy rate across both sexes. During his tenure, President Museveni has also improved health services by setting up health centers at each sub-county. This has considerably reduced infant mortality and improved health service delivery nationwide. In the next five years, government intends to focus on drug supplies, the recruitment of health personnel, their welfare and retention. The accessibility and availability of financial services and products across Uganda to offer loans, self-custody of cash and advisory services has grown from only five banks in the early 90s to nearly 30 commercial banks and microfinance institutions currently. Under Museveni's reign, Uganda's financial system has been one of the best regulated by international standards. It is for this reason that the country could cushion itself from the vagaries of the recent global financial crisis and assurance to investment and economic growth. On the regional front, the Museveni government has been hailed for its role in the 1999 revival of the East African community that collapsed in 1977. Together with other East African leaders, Museveni oversaw the establishment of a solid base, support organs and institutions of the community to ensure that the region grows as a strong economic bloc. Government is now extending its wings to focus on pacifying Somalia through the country's contribution to the African Union peacekeeping mission. Uganda will soon join the League of Oil-Producing Countries after the successful exploration and discovery of commercially viable oil deposits estimated at over 2 billion barrels. It is hoped that once commercial production begins, the oil sector will not only exponentially grow Uganda's national revenue and jobs, but also help quench the growing demand of oil and oil products in the East African region.
Even with the numerous success stories of his government, the burdens of a long incumbency have caught up with President Museveni. They are pointers that his achievements are increasingly being eroded by massive corruption, a questionable human rights record, and a defective service delivery system. Michael Baleke, NTV.